Hi, this is Ray from GameServerSetup.com. This is just a video tutorial on how to set up a Windows de uh, dedicated server for Seven Days to Die. It's pretty uh, simplistic for the Windows side. They pretty much did everything for you. The only thing you're going to have to do um, is navigate to your Steam folder that has Seven Days to Die. Um, on standard is Profiles, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Seven Days to Die. And inside there, you'll see this. What you probably won't see in the newest revisions are the tool is the tools folder. Go ahead and create this two fo tools folder with a capital T and inside it throw a bin folder, the B-I-N. And inside that throw putty.exe. This just makes it a lot easier to manage your server um, than using just a standard telnet connection. and It works a million times better, I found. Um, it's free to download, just Google putty and then throw that in there, really small file. And then from there, um, you need to go ahead and edit your server admin XML. Uh, you need to change it to have your Steam ID um, from the standard one. This sets up the moderators, admins, and all that fun stuff so you can kick, ban, and all that other fun stuff uh, if people are pissing you off or hacking your server. Um, so once you get that done, you just save it, close it, then you go to your server um, at config.xml. So in here, uh, you can set the ports, the name, change it from a public or a private, add a password if you want, change the players. It's extremely well documented, so you can go ahead and go through it and see what's going on. One thing that you should do right away is at the bottom of it, oh, there will be a password field. Change. Where is it? There it is. Telnet password. Uh, you should change this to something from other than the default because it allows access to the admin part of the server. And you'll see that when we go ahead and uh, start it up. If you don't change it, it's easy to very it's very easy to hack into your server and go ahead and ruin your day. <laughs> so go ahead and change that. Save the file. Um, make sure everything's good. And then after that, it's really simple. You just double click the start dedicated dot bat. And in there, this will go ahead and start up a command prompt with a bunch of stuff going on. And in about five seconds, it will go ahead and open up or attempt to open up a telnet window using that putty um, program that we set up. And it will ask you for that password that was set in the server XML file. So I'm just going to use a standard change me. Boom. And we're good. There it is. Uh, started server version alpha 9.0 compatibility and difficulty too and if you need any to see all the all the commands you can either check the website the game server setup or you can just type help and it'll all be there and from there you just go ahead and log in uh, connect to your IP address and you're good to go now if you're using an IP address at your home it's most likely a private IP address which means you can't see it from the outside world in order for other players to see it you need to log into your modem and um, add port forwarding uh, to point to your pri inside private IP. Just go ahead and Google your router model, modem model, and plus port forwarding. It'll pop right up on Google on how to do that. And make sure you just forward that port that was set up in the server XML file that we discussed earlier. And that's it. I hope you enjoy your seven days to die server. Um, and if you want, there's the written guide on the website in the link below. And hope you have a good day. Bye.